What's up? In this video, we're going to find the inverse of this matrix. So to find the inverse of a matrix, the first thing you do is you write the matrix down again. So 1, 0, 2, 2, negative 1, 3, 4, 1, 8. Then you draw a line, and then you put the identity matrix here. So in this case, we have a 3 by 3 matrix, so we're going to write down the 3 by 3 identity matrix. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And the goal is to make this look like this. So if you make this look like this, then you're done. And the inverse is going to be whatever's over here. So how do we do that? That's key. So to do that, we're going to do it one column at a time in order. So first, we're going to make this a 1. It's already a 1. Then we're going to make this zero, these zeros. Then we're going to make this a 1, make these zeros, make this a 1, make these zeros. So step 1, make this a 1, done. Now we're going to make these zeros. How do we do that? Well, we're going to multiply this by negative 2 and add it to this. Multiply this by negative 4 and add it to this. When I say multiply this, I mean multiply the entire row, so you'll see. So negative 2 times row 1 plus row 3. And then negative 4 times row 1 plus row 3. Okay, all right, so the first row is unchanged. So it's 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0. And now let's carefully go through it. Let's see. Negative 2, right, it's being multiplied by negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. That was the whole point. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus negative 1 is just negative 1. Negative 4, it's really a negative 4. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Got to keep going. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. Let's just go to the next one. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. Going kind of fast, sorry. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Let's check that again. So we took the first row, multiplied it by negative 2, added it to the second row. Let's check. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Boom. 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. Boom. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Boom. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. Checks. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Boom. All right, so now we have to make this a 1. It looks like we can switch any two rows. That's one of the row operations. So if we switch these two rows, we've accomplished that goal. So let's just switch the first two rows, the, the last two rows rather. So keeping the first one intact. I'm going to switch this one. So this one's going to go here. So switch. I won't write it. Let's just do it. So 0, 1, 0. Negative 4, 0, 1. Right? You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to switch any two rows. Right? Did I do that correctly? Let's check. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, looks good. All right, so now we're going to make this a 0. Huh? We'll just add this to this. So row 2 plus row 3. Pretty easy. Row 2 plus row 3. So first row is unchanged. 1, 0, 2. 1, 0, 0. And then 0, 1, 0. Negative 4, 0, 1. All right, now we're adding 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. That was the whole point. 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 0. Let's check that. We added the last two. 0 plus 0 is 0. Check. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. Check. 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. Check. Negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6. Check. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0. Ah, 1 plus 0 is 1. Very easy to mess up, right? 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, right? Really easy to mess up. Now we're going to make this a 1 and then get rid of this and then we're done. So to make this a 1, we'll just multiply the bottom row by negative 1. I won't write it. Let's just go ahead and do it. So rewriting the first row. Being really, really careful. Rewriting the second row. Being really, really careful. Multiplying that third row by negative 1. All right, now we're in a good place. The last step is to multiply this by negative 2 and add it to this to make this a 0. So again, the goal was... Make this a 1, make these zeros. We did that here, boom. Then we had to make this a 1. How did we do that? We switched these two rows. Done. Now we got to make these zeros. That was already a 0, so we made this a 0. Boom. Now we got to make this a 1. We did that. Now we just got to make this a 0, and we're done. So we're going to do negative 2 times row 3 plus row 1. Let's be really careful here. So row 1 is changing. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative, oh, it's negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. That was the whole point. Negative 12 plus 1 is negative 11. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. 
right? And then that's it, right? Everything else is the same. So 0, 1, 0, negative 4, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 6, negative 1, negative 1. That's the inverse. So that this is your inverse. So the inverse matrix is whatever is here. Negative 11, 2, 2, negative 4, 0, 1, 6, negative 1, negative 1. Super easy to mess up uh, in these problems. Uh, let me just check that. Negative 12 plus 1 is negative 11. 2, yep, yeah, looks okay. Hope that made sense.